our first story of the day is e um 63 saga we've given customers personal information to kelny gvg vodafone kasapa 102.5 fm reported this story so presently if you are a customer or um you use um vodafone network you have to understand that all your data all your information the last time we were talking about MTN, MTN decided not to do that. The government is trying to strike back by breaking the monopoly of MTN. At the end of the day, hey, we are with Juma Yea. We are with Juma Yea and Awunya customers. So why is the government breaking monopoly? If MTN's competitors are not working well and they are not doing, they are not pulling their weight and MTN is doing a greater job, a better job to get the customers, why do you out of hate or ignorance try to break that monopoly? MTN has been around for a long time. They've invented different, different things that has helped the um, communication in ghana so i don't understand why the government will turn around and hate mtn they all because mtn decided or declined to hand over data of ghanaians to the government today vodafone has decided to hand over our information to the government today you have to understand that your banking transaction your text messages your phone calls everything about you your details you don't want anybody to know if you are a vodafone subscriber or whatever you have to understand kelly gvg which is basically the government has it this is big deal. If you are on Vodafone today, I will urge you to cancel it. I will urge you to port. How do you guys call it in Ghana? I will urge you to port to another network. And preferably, I think MTN is the best because they have stood firm to tell the government that they will not, they will not go behind their um, workers or their, their, their clients or customers and hand over their information. So if you're a Ghanaian and you, you, you are a Vodafone client, remember that your information is out there. The government is going to track you, whatever you are doing. And hey, this is breaching of privacy and um, it's not accepted anywhere in the world. So I'll urge people who are with Vodafone now, now to, to do the best thing, to do the right thing. I'm not here to campaign for any network, but what I can tell you is if you're a Vodafone uh, um, customer, the best thing to do is to leave because your information will be given to the government.